For problem 4b, I'm asked to make two scatter plots, one of economically disadvantaged versus disability. So let's start with that one. We can again use the plot function, and it's smart enough to figure out if the x value is continuous, it'll do a scatter plot. If the x value is categorical, then it does a box and whisker plot. So I'll just say relative df and the y column, which is disadvantaged relative, and tilde relative data frame. Let's see, I'm doing it against disability. All right, disadvantaged versus disability. Let's try that. Hmm. Okay, there's the uh, result down in the plot pane. Let's try plot of relative data frame. Limited English proficiency. Against disability. Do these plots mean anything? It's a little hard to tell. Uh, we could do a trend line or some kind of statistical analysis. But one of the questions here is that it's somewhat flawed from a statistical point of view. So one thing is we didn't check any sort of assumptions for normality or anything like that. The other thing is also that we are really going out on a limb, like saying that y is dependent on x. In the first plot, we would be saying that being disadvantaged is caused by having a disability, and I suppose that could be partially true, but there's not necessarily a causal relationship there. Same thing with would being disabled cause you to have worse relative English proficiency. There's no reason to think there's cause and effect there either. So because this is not a controlled experiment, you really probably shouldn't be doing a regression analysis on this. But in order to, to find this out, we would have to do a regression statistical analysis. It would be relatively easy to do that by just doing model and use a linear model function. All right, so that's our model. We can superimpose a trend line on it by using a b line model. Hmm. It does look like it uh, has a slope greater than zero. We can test this by finding the summary of the model. And it does look like it's highly significant. But of course, our assumptions that we're making about this is pretty sketchy. And it's hard to understand why having a higher rate of disabilities in a school would tend to make the disadvantage fraction also be higher. We could repeat this with the other graph if we wanted to.